Lily. I hand over that pokey flute. Oh, well, hey, now we didn't have to say that, Lily. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my Pokemon Clockwork playthrough. If you haven't seen Pokemon Clockwork yet, it is one of the best fan-made Pokemon games yet, and you're going to love it. With that being said, if you're new, don't forget to hit that sub button for more gaming content. Please and thank you. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. In the last video, we finally got to Listel Town. We've been there in the past with Celebi. This game revolves around Celebi, which is awesome. We've been there in the past with Celebi a few videos ago, and we had to, like, talk to some kids. And now, um, Celebi brought us back to our time. Now we're back into the present-day Listel Town, and there's a cave that we need to go to to figure out what's going on. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going to this creepy-looking cave over here. Oh. I need to get through, ma'am, so please step aside. I'm sorry, but I can't allow anyone to come through here. This cave is strictly off limits, everyone. I don't have time for this. Okay. Oh! That girl's insane. I don't children any respect for the elders nowadays. Oh. Okay, a little harder to see everything. I want to see what's down here. Music's awesome as usual. Ooh, a magnet, okay. Twisted spoon, ooh. I just came across an unknown in this cave. What? Okay, I was not expecting this. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's see if we can paralyze it. Oh no. Oh no. Dang, I'm so sorry, Pikachu. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, we're gonna throw in Swallow. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's on me. That's on me. But I cannot believe there was an unknown down here. Okay, we got it. We got to get the unknown. I feel like when you see an unknown, you have to get it in a Pokemon game. Ah, there's one. Okay, okay. Oh, it does not. Yep, yep. Does not. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just gonna throw a dust ball at it. Here's hoping. Oh, we got it! <laughs> okay, I was expecting a, a little more. Okay. Shaped like an ancient text characters. All the research is ongoing is the mysteries of which came first, the ancient writing. Oh. We just got an unknown. Okay. <gasps> Lily. I hand over that pokey flute. Oh, well, hey, now we didn't have to say that, Lily. That was a little much. You beat all my Pokemon. I guess I'll just have to. Whoa, Lily. Let's calm that down. Yeah, this poor Cubone. I need that pokey flute. <laughs> Oh, well, fine. We're gonna move yourself and make sure you don't beat that cubone. I don't wanna. Oh. Can I catch the cubone? I'd rather catch the cubone. Oh, we can. Easy. We got it. Okay. That poor cubone. I just saved it. We just saved it, man. Signs for the mother never see again. Seeing the likeness of mother full moon cries. Oh, 
Oh. Great, let's get the pokey flute and head. Okay. Okay, we got the pokey flute. I actually managed to see the pokey flute. That's great news. Here, take this with you. Okay. Yes, thank you. With that, you'll be able to wait the Snorlax Lakes up and enter either in city. First school start of the world. I go should be getting some visits from trainers any time now. Get their first Pokemon. That being said, I need to get back to work. Keep that pokey flute, by the way. Like I said before, I already got one of my assistants to make a new one. Hopefully, I'll see you sometime soon. Can't say the same for that girl. Well, anyways, next time. Okay. <laughs> now we should be able to go and get the Snorlax to move. Oh, there's Lily. Maybe you can wake it with the pokey flute. Yes. Yes. Dude, I'm so glad they used that sound. That's amazing. Is that the one from Pokemon 2000, is it? The Snorlax attacked! It's a level 40, and I was not expecting this. Oh, it doesn't it? Oh. Uh oh. Sleep talk, okay. Oh, we got one heavy ball. Okay. We're gonna have to go for it. Oh, man. Snorlax is so tanky. Okay, you got this Charizard. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, sucker. <laughs> okay, heavy ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, even worse. Even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> There's not much I can do. Oh no. Okay, Laren, you got this, you got this. Just did so much damage. Yes, we got the Snorlax. Okay. Oh, that's that is so awesome, man. Oh, it's really a typical day consists of nothing more than eating and sleeping. Oh, okay. Great, now get out the way. I've already wasted so much time. We're preventing from going anywhere else freely for a while. Okay, first of all, let me go heal first. Okay. Enter an Ethereum city will prevent you from going anywhere else freely for a while. Are you sure you want to head there now? Yeah. Uh-oh. What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be in school. Yeah, don't try to trick me, kid. I know you're kind. Skipping isn't tolerated here. Come with me. Oh. Now that you're back at school, you should head to class. 
Oh. Look what we have here. Uh oh. You must be a new transfer student. I'm the principal of the school. You can just call me Ether. Or Ether. We should get you prepared for the day. Let's head to my office. Uh oh. We have entered school. You're not an actual student here. There isn't much I can do this time since I'm not in charge of security. I'll tell them you're supposed to be here, they wouldn't believe me. For now, you can stay here and attend school. I'll show you to class, but before that, you need a uniform, of course. Oh, okay. That uniform really suits you. You look great. Also, I'll take your running shoes away. Which I didn't have to, but it's school policy. And take you to class. Seems like there's only one class that'll open in this late into the year. So, what did it do? Wow, we can't run. It's Ultra. Ultra. We have a new transfer student. I was wondering if it was okay for him to start today. His name is Ork. Of course, we'd love to have another face in our class. Perfect. Oh, that's Andrew. I'll be, I'll be uh, taking my leave. All right, let's get you uh, started. You can start by introducing yourself to class. It's great to meet you. We hope that we can all get along the rest of the year. My name is Zumi, and I'm also the class representative. If you'd like a tour of the school after class, I'd be happy to show you around. Okay, okay. Is that? Name is Jen. Couldn't help but notice that I was uh, seeing you around here before. They were for Cherry Town. Huh, that's awesome. My grandparents actually lived there. Seemed like a pretty cool dude, so I thought we'd make some good friends. Kind of friend is Koji. He doesn't really talk that much during class. He's more of the bookworm type. The chick behind me is Hana. It's kind of approved, but she's still cool, I guess. I'm <laughs> not approved. Should be nice to the girl who always help you your homework, Jen. Otherwise, yeah, right. My, Makai, my, Makai. I don't know how. Defeated. <laughs> I'm just gonna pay attention to you. Get some notes down. Maybe you'll learn how to form sentences that are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. I think we should get back to taking notes, guys. Period's almost over. Honda Drive, you should probably pay attention. Uh oh. And with that, class is over. Feel free to do what you want with your free time. My name is Koji. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry I didn't say anything to you sooner. Just really getting into studying sometimes. So hope we can be friends. How you work? I'm Mikey. M Mike, hi. I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing names. Although I'm sure you called that we were talking about earlier. Hold on, sorry, we seem a bit timid. It often takes some time before I get comfortable around people. Well, I mean, I introduced yourself to uh, earlier. We're already friends. Okay. Seems like you're going to make quite a few friends work. I could take you on a tour if you like. Oh. Okay. As soon as you've been uh, caught in quite the crossroads work in the courtyard if you need me I'll let you choose who you want to give your tour see you later how would you like to be a tour uh... let's go let's see who are we gonna pick let's see you know what we're gonna go Mackay Okay, I'll have to wait. I'm not trying to hang out with the work. <laughs> Please stop calling me, Scott. Okay, so there's the birthmark. We're still best friends, so I'm sure we have the times we can hang out. Chill out, Jen. You guys just met. Alrighty, I'm in the hallway outside of the classroom. Let me know when you're ready for the tour. Let's go. You're probably pretty bummed about not having running shoes. I think the whole running is not allowed within buildings thing is pretty stupid. That being said, they say thing about speed walking, pretty much like running. Teachers can't really say. <laughs> You're now the speed walk. Okay, we're traveling. My favorite area of school is probably the kitchen. I love bacon, but don't tell anybody else that. They wouldn't take me seriously. What do you think you're doing? Get in trouble if you walk in other classrooms. Oh my bad. 
I'm just trying to figure out where the stuff is. Where the kitchen at? This is the library. Sorry about something bored. I just can't stand this place. Okay. That area down there leads to the courtyard. We should take a look around the school more. Oh. This is the back field of the school. I guess it's cool or whatever. I don't love this side of school. I'm more of an indoor person though. <gasps> what? Like a whole nother area. Hold on, no, I want to see what else is here for a second. Hold on. <gasps> I forgot this teacher's lounge. We should leave. Teachers don't like me very much. Okay, well, we're out then. I don't need to say more. Ah, this place entire school, the kitchen. Where we come where we have a cooking class. Cooking is just the best. Okay. Forty minutes. Okay. Let's end it. Yes, we are done looking around. I can't get enough of that fresh air. I'm an indoor person, but I can't deny that it feels good to breathe this in. This is the rooftop of the school. That's where our school's vending machine is. Excuse me, McCann dear. Could you help me with some of the boxes of storage room? They're a little too heavy. Sorry, I had to help this. Oh. Oh yeah, I like this. This is cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay. We need to go to the courtyard. Oh, it's a Celebi statue. Hey, work or tour went well. Sorry if you thought I was ignoring you. I was just looking at the statue of Celebi. Do you know that this school was built around the birthplace of the magical Pokemon Celebi? We have endless books in our library about it, but none of them give you nearly as much information as a statue here. The statue was created a long time ago, before anything else here was made. It tells the story of the Pokemon said to be the guardian of the forest. Celebi has been protecting this land for what it seems to be an endless amount of years. But what for? I've always wondered. The wild Pokemon here seem to have taken quite a liking to this place as well. I can't say that I blame them either. If only I can meet Celebi with my own eyes. Even if it's just for a moment, that will be enough for me. I feel like it's been through a lot of pain. Perhaps the reason why it protects this land is so that it stays the same as it was in the past. The sadness that loss brings can be heavy on someone who has no one to go to. Poor thing. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have babbled on for so long. Sorry if I bored you. I just get distracted easily by things like this. Hope the tour you were taking on helps you learn the way around the school. It can get a bit confusing at times. But I'm not sure if anyone has said this yet, but if you haven't, then allow me to be the first. Welcome to the Pokemon Academy of Ithran City, Orc. Hope we can be your friends for a long time. Chapter 6, Into Darkness. Oh, that was the bell. We better head to class. You don't want to be late for the second time of your first day, do you? Okay. She cries by the river pool. She stops, then begins again the next day. The statue is to honor our guardian. Okay, guys, we're actually going to end the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit it with a like. It'll really help out the channel here. I've really enjoyed this playthrough. The whole game is revolved around the legendary Pokemon Celebi, and it seems like we just keep learning more and more. So hopefully in the next video, since we just got to Chapter 6, a new chapter, we'll learn a little bit more about Celebi because this has been super awesome. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you don't know already, I do stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday nights, and you're more than welcome to come chill with me over there, and I'll be sure to put the link in the description down below 
and that's all i got for you so i will see you in the next video and do not forget man it's work army for life